Welcome to EPG Partial Program. This is Dr. C. C. Prasad, Assistant Director, Dr. B. Ambedkar Open City. Today, we will discuss public administration in public policy perspective. The public policy perspective is interdisciplinary in nature. The study of public administration in this perspective is more interesting and thought provoking. Public policies are explains causes and consequences of governmental activity. Public policies are goal oriented and purposive. For example, liberalization, privatization, globalization policy, popularly known as LPG policy, is intended, was intended to bring reforms in traditional economies. Similarly, the goods and services tax GST is also intended to bring tax reforms in India. There is a difference between policy making and decision making. Though both are closely related, but there exists difference between these two processes. Both requires information, both have a sequence of steps in its process to arrive a best policy or a decision. Public policy gives a wider implications on public issues or problems. Public policy analysis is an investigation or examination of alternative public policies. This investigation of economic, political and technical aspects of the policies explains the viability of the alternative public policies. The public policy analysis explains about the various public policy alternatives to arrive a best alternative to deal with a particular public issue or a public problem. The public policy analysis term first probably used by Lindbaum in 1958. In this module, we will discuss public policy analysis, specifically the public policy process and the ethical issues involved in public policy analysis. The module is organized into the following subheadings brief description of policy analysis, its process and importance of ethics in it, detailed discussion of the meaning of policy analysis, the stages of the process of policy analysis and importance of considering ethical issues in policy analysis. Public policies are significant aspect of any political system as these are being formulated and implemented to improve the lives of common men. Ultimately, the future of any society depends upon types of public policies being pursued and their social feasibility. Policy analysis is a very crucial aspect of any policy process. Policy analysis is as old as public policies. Policy analysis is a systematic examination and investigation of policy problems and policy impacts. It is concerned with gathering, interpretation and analysis of information for understanding and assessing the causes as well as the consequences of policy decisions. It has a practical orientation with interdisciplinary perspective. It is analytical and comprehensive as very aspect of the policy is taken into consideration and critically assessed. It is mainly concerned with evaluating the actions of policy practitioners and establishing benchmarks for carrying out such evaluation. It is a methodology 
to find out the impact of policies. It examines and evaluates the effects produced by public policies and thus measures organizational effectiveness. The two practical issues being dealt by policy analysis are the best thing that needs to be done for addressing a policy problem and the best result that is intended to be actually achieved. Various scholars have defined the term policy analysis in multifarious ways. There is no single definition on policy analysis. Different scholars view public policy analysis in different perspectives. Edward S. Wade, in his book Analysis for Public Decisions, has defined policy analysis as any type of analysis that generates and presents information in such a way as to improve the basis for policy makers to exercise their judgment. In policy analysis, the word analysis is used in its most general sense. It implies the use of intuition and judgment and encompasses not only the examination of policy by decomposition into its components, but also the design and synthesis of new alternatives. According to Thomas R. Dye, in his book, Policy Analysis, What Governments Do, Why They Do It, and What Difference It Makes, Policy Analysis is the thinking man's response to demands. It involves a primary concern with explanation rather than prescription, a rigorous search for the causes and consequences of public policies, and an effort to develop and test general propositions about the causes and consequences of public policy and to accumulate reliable research findings of general relevance. William N. Dunn, in his book, Public Policy Analysis and Introduction, has described policy analysis as an applied social science discipline which uses multiple methods of inquiry and arguments to produce and transform policy-relevant information that may be utilized in political settings to resolve policy problems. According to Rolf C. Chandler and Jock C. Plano in their Public Administration Dictionary, policy analysis is a systematic and data-based alternative to intuitive judgments about the effects of policy or policy options. It is used for problem assessment and monitoring as a before-the-fact decision tool and for evaluation. J. M. Sherfried in his Dictionary of American Government and Politics has described policy analysis as a set of techniques techniques that seeks to answer the questions of what the probable effects of a policy will be more they actually occur. As per Augustine O. Eclibi, in her book Public Policy Making and Analysis, policy analysis is the study of the causes, processes, formation, implementation and consequences of public policy. Trotes Nagel has defined four key elements of policy analysis. They are the goals with which policy analysis is concerned, the means for achieving those goals, the methods for determining the effects of alternative means on goal achievement, the profession of policy analysis which is applying these methods in relating means to goals. The major dimensions of policy analysis are purpose, determinants, interventions, institutions, attached political feasibility and beliefs and perceptions of policy analysts. Policy analysis makes use of scientific and systematic research techniques like systems analysis, simulation, operations research, cost-benefit analysis, cost-effectiveness analysis, input-output analysis, policy experimentation, policy evaluation, statistical survey, case study, participatory assessment, rapid assessment, social audit, critical path method, program evaluation, and review technique and new approaches to budgeting, etc. for assessing the likely and actual consequences of public policies. Policy analysis can be retrospective and or prospective. Retrospective policy analysis produces information after policy actions are taken up. Usually policy analysis is of retrospective form. It is not much useful for dealing with challenging policy issues owing to its past orientation. Prospective policy analysis produces information before policy actions are actually commenced or and implemented. According to Karen Mosberger and Harold Oldman, prospective policy evaluation is how policy makers assess the effect of a proposed policy or program before it is put into place. It is futuristic and helps the policy makers to be prepared in advance to deal with challenging and thought-provoking policy questions. It is frequently used by system analysts and operation researchers.
Policy analysis can be descriptive and or prescriptive. Descriptive analysis is an empirical analysis which explains and illustrates the actuality of policy process. It involves the pragmatic delineation of factors influencing policy process, the part played by different actors, both governmental and non-governmental, the techniques employed in arriving at policy decisions and policy impact. Prescriptive analysis is normative analysis which suggests measures for improving the policy process. Process. It identifies those values and interests which the pol public policies ought to promote for accomplishing policy goals. As policy analysis is a vital part of policy process, is to should be done carefully and objectively if desirable relevant information about policies has to be obtained and made use of. The process of policy analysis is a continuous one and comprises several stages. There is no end point for policy analysis. It is an ongoing process. It is cyclical in nature. It initiates with identification of problem and the last stage is problem restructuring and rebegin of policy process. The stages through which policy analysis process processes start with identification of problem and continue till problem restructuring. All the stages are interlinked and their understanding is essential for getting the desired information for policy analysis. Identification of policy problem. The first step is to identify the problem which has to be addressed through a particular policy. Once the problem is identified, then the objectives to be achieved are ascertained. Determination of alternative course of action. After policy problem has been identified, then alternative course of action that could be feasible in resolving it or determined. Their determination requires hard work, creativity and ingenuity, keeping the overall context in view. Evaluation of alternative. Each proposed alternative course of action is evaluated, its advantages, disadvantages, limitations are assessed and its likely consequences are forecast. Choosing the best alternate. The evaluation of each alternative course of action presents a clear idea about its workability and plausibility in terms of attaining the given set of objectives. The best viable alternative course of action is chosen following such evaluation. Policy implementation. After the policy has been formulated, it enters the implementation stage. In this stage, policy is put into effect by the implementing agencies. Policy implementation turns policy ideas into reality and is significant for realizing policy goals. Policy monitoring. Monitoring of a policy is done during the course of its implementation. In this stage, the process of policy implementation is assessed in terms of its expectations. In case deviations are seen, then mid-course corrections are made so that the policy proceeds in right direction. Policy evaluation. Policy is evaluated when its implementation is over. Policy evaluation apprises the social worth and utility of a policy and measures its social impact. Problem restructuring. The information provided by policy analysis will make possible to judge the total partial attainment or otherwise of predetermined objectives and the social impacts produced. On the basis of assessment, the problem may be restructured and the policy process re-begins with this. In simple, public policy analysis process has a six step in doing an actual policy analysis. The six steps are verify, define and detail the problem. This is the most important relevant of all the steps because many times the objectives of the problem analysis are not clear and in some cases the objectives are contradictory. Policy analysis requires clarity in identifying the problem to be resolved. Second, in order to measure, compare and select among alternatives, relevant evaluation criteria must be established. Here, one must consider cost, net benefit, effectiveness, efficiency, equity and administrative ease, legality and political acceptability. Third, once a policy problem has been clearly stated and an evaluation criteria are established, the policy analyst is in a position to identify and generate alternative policies. In order to generate alternative policies, it becomes important to have a clear understanding of the problem and how to go about it. The possible alternatives include do nothing approach and any other that can benefit the outcome. Fourth stage, 
an attempt is made to package all the alternative policies into strategies and programs in accomplishing a thorough policy analysis. It becomes necessary to evaluate how each possible alternative benefits the criteria previously established. And fifth stage, the results of the evaluation of possible alternatives along with data on the extent to which the criteria are met by each alternative might be presented at this stage. However, the presentation format showing the probabilities associated with the fulfillment of the criteria against each alternative and the weightage thus accrued to each option tends to influence the final decision. And lastly, monitoring the implemented policy. Normally, the policy analyst or planner is not involved in the implementation of policy. However, the policy analyst should be involved in the maintenance, monitoring and evaluation of the implemented policy. Program evaluation is important to improve the quality of program analysis. We should realize here that policies could fail because the program was not implemented as it was designed or did not produce the desired results because the underlying assumptions were either incorrect or irrelevant. Often the policy analysts deal with ethical issues. According to Martin Bartsch, most of the ethical issues faced by policy analysts, planners, experts and advisors on a daily basis are resolved without controversy. These are related to administrative decisions, bureaucratic procedures and rules of behavior regarding clients and supervisors. The more complex issues are related to the moral implications of our methods, ethical content of the criteria built into decision models and ethical issues inherent in the evaluation of major policy alternatives. Appropriate policy analysis is a highly significant aspect of good governance. Ethical considerations are paramount in policy analysis. There has to be high degree of reasonableness in the entire exercise of policy analysis for the better prospects of any society. The information generated by it for improving the sound decision making and policy process will be worthwhile when such information is ethically prudent. It is morally imperative that policy analysis should produce high quality information gathered through just means. The ethos of serving the masses and human betterment should be the guiding principle in policy analysis. The exercise of policy analysis will be fruitful when there is a concern for building trust and confidence by laying premium on quality of fairness, justice, responsiveness, openness, boldness and transparency. It is only then policy analysis will be able to bring about desirable positive changes in the society and produce good outcomes. Outcomes. Ethical behavior has to be displayed by the analyst while doing policy analysis. Policy analysts have to be competent and their functioning should be morally upright. Their behavior and conduct should be above suspicion and guided by ethical work. There has to be persistency and consistency in their work. Policy analysts should be dedicated and committed towards their work and act in a dignified manner. Moral values have to be upheld by them, keeping in mind their responsibility for reconciling the individual interest with common interest. Policy analysts face a number of dilemmas in their work and they should overcome them by adopting an open mind perspective. In the ultimate analysis, the question of ethics is all pervading as it guides the conduct of any action. A strong and sturdy culture of integrity has to be promoted if policy analysis has to be a productive endeavor. After discussing policy analysis, process of policy analysis and ethical issues involved in policy analysis, we can conclude that policy analysis is a vital part of policy process. Policy analysis is a systematic investigation of alternative policy options. It is examination of policy problems and policy impacts. Policy analysis makes use of scientific and systematic research techniques for data collection. There are different types of policy analysis. The process of policy analysis is a continuous one, comprises several stages from identification of policy problem to problem restructuring. Ethical considerations are the most important in policy analysis. 
ethical behavior has to be displayed by the analyst while doing policy analysis. In policy analysis, ethics plays a key role to formulate and analyze the objective policy alternatives.